Hi guys and welcome back to this Let's Play of Rift. This is uh, going to be an issue showing the Realm of the Fae. And, uh, Let's get on with the support though. Okay, and as we can hear in the background there, we've got a friend with us. Uh, hi, Demon Wolf, could you uh, say hello to the viewers, please? Hello, everybody. My character name is Demon Wolf, and I'm here for your pleasure. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much for joining us for this episode. Not a problem. Okay, so we're going to be taking a look at Realm of the Fae in this episode, and... Uh, as we can see, Demon has uh, has mentored down to to help us out with this. Uh, he's actually a level sixty, but he's uh, he's uh, masquerading as a level nineteen. <laughs> By the way, don't let the level sixty fool you. It doesn't mean we're gonna we're gonna be winning this yet. <laughs> now we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so uh, right. so first of all, we're gonna need to go and complete these side quests. So uh, we've got five different uh, shrines that we need to go to during the video, and this is the first one of them. So all we do is just uh, click click on that, and eventually it will uh, complete. Okay, so that's the Thontic shrine done. These little balls here; those are warp balls too. After a while, they activate. Okie dokie. Well, uh, let's see how this goes anyway. Um, this is only my second time uh, tanking in a raid, so uh, just like last time, it's going to be a bit hit and miss. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, hopefully we can manage to get through it without too many problems. Okay. Okay, so this uh, this raid is relatively simple. It's uh, most of the bosses are just tank and spank, so there, there's not a great deal to, uh, to to know about in this raid. To be to be perfectly honest, it's uh, it's very very straightforward. Okay, so we've got a squirrel tier. What's the for need or greed? Uh, I'm gonna go greed on the uh, on the squirrel tier. I do I do need it, but uh, I'll I'll be uh, I'll be helpful. In case I don't need any of this, so I'm just going to pass on all of it. That cool? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, uh, okay. Demon Wolf, perhaps you could uh, t tell us a little bit about uh, your, your player and uh, your history with Rift. Oh, well, my history with Rift is brief. Um, I, there's a lot of people that's been on a lot longer than I have um, who have a lot more experience, but for myself, been about uh, I've been playing about uh, 18, 18 to 20 months nearly two years and on and off um, my character it's, th this one was my rogue's been done with um, no help it's no hacking no no PvPing strictly questing um, after I level 60, then I started to PvP. But this guy's been doing... Uh, I use him strictly for, for questing and, and for what we're doing now today. It makes it a long haul, but it's a lot more enjoyable. I found that the game seems to give itself to you when you when you do the questing. Yeah, yeah, I, to I totally agree. The, uh, the the questing side for me is, uh, is the main part of the game. I mean... Uh, there's a hell of a lot of content with this game, so uh, you know you can't really you can't really fall short with it. Yeah, and I like the fact that it's got actually multi-layered um, levels. In other words, there's there's multi-layer aspects of the game that you can achieve. So if, you know once you're done your level 60 on quest thing, there, you can start doing your raids and you can start leveling your raid uh, or war fronts. Sorry, you can start leveling your war friends up because there's a whole new section just for leveling your war friends and then you know for mastering and, and being a grandmaster for your crafting and all that stuff so there's a lot of aspects and a lot of different levels to the game in itself so yeah it, uh, it seems as though you've been playing for a hell of a lot longer than I have I've, I've been playing more or less since launch but um 
Yeah, I've not been playing that entire time. It's been uh, months here and there, really. Well, that's the nice thing about this game. You know, whether you're whether you play a couple hours, you know, a, a month, or you're a dedicated player and you play at least a couple hours a day, um, it really makes no difference because there's always something there to offer you. You know what I mean? Like it, it's it's open to that. You're not closed yeah, off to yeah. that. Okay, so um, sorry, just to interrupt you, just for a moment there. So this is the first boss within the raid, and. Um, Essentially, all I have to do is just tank this uh, this main person here, and what the others should be doing is uh, attacking the two smaller mobs that are located behind me at the moment. So I just need to keep the attention of this person, really. Um, and in fact, uh, Demon Wolf's pet is doing a much better job of that than I am, uh, with him being level 60, but mentored down. Basically, what I've done is I decided to attack the two angels, which are the ones that's keeping the boss alive and send my uh, pet to attack the boss to help tank with with your with you so you don't you don't die right away so you get a little bit of a hand because I don't need a hand to try to kill the angels while you're dealing with the boss well no that's really helpful because uh, <laughs> essentially um, I'm not having to do any tanking there so uh, your, your pet is doing the entire job for me which is uh, is quite good. Teamwork, my friend. Teamwork. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. And that's what this game is all about. At the end of the day, um, I mean, yes, it's a multi, uh, a massively multiplayer game, but um, the, the the scope for multiplayer within Rift is beyond. At least in my experience, it's it's beyond what other MMOs usually offer you. Um, you know the. I mean, there's the all the typical kind of stuff. There's the PvP. There's the dungeons. Uh, there's uh, chronicles, which are two-man uh, alerts, which we'll look at much, much later on in this rift. Uh, let's to play, but um, you know, the, the, there's a, a huge scope for d for doing group stuff um, beyond those things, uh, particularly when when you consider rifting. Uh, you know, the, there's there's so much to do with groups. Yeah, as you well know, there's so many different aspects of playing the game. You can play as an individual, or you can play as a team player. Or you can do a little bit of both and be a mercenary within a team as well. So there's a lot of different aspects of the game that you can use to, to play for your style of play. Um, as, you, as, you, you know, as, as you and I found out uh, while we were playing a while ago, um, and it's okay to have those styles. I mean, it's it, the idea is for you to get on and to enjoy the game, and to play in the style that you're comfortable playing in. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, as uh, as Demon has just said, we uh, we tried our, uh, our our team play a couple of weeks back, and uh, it was a little bit hit and miss. To be to be perfectly honest, um, you know, as uh, as with most games, it it does take a bit of um, trial and error to to get to that place where you need to be to, to work in a team um, but for the you know uh, we, we seem to be for the for the vast majority in, in sync um, you know I, I, I tend to prefer my power leveling and uh, completing quests as, as quick as humanly possible whereas <laughs> demon is is a bit more chilled out a bit more relaxed um, he prefers the team play which you know uh, as he's just said is uh, is great you know you, you can play this game the way that you want to play it um, but there certainly is a, a huge um, Huge capacity for for team play within within the game. Absolutely. The thing to remember those is, is like not to get angry at others. You know, like sometimes some people get angry at others because they don't play the way they want them to. You have to understand that everybody has their own style of play, and I think once you once people bear that in mind, things go a little bit smoother. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, the, uh, the the play style, you know, that that's something that transcends this game. You know, it's uh, certainly certainly uh, visible in other in other varieties of MMO as well. Um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna get people from different backgrounds with different abilities, uh, different um, possibilities. You know, how much time they can spend and uh, what what they want to do within the game. So, uh, you know, the Rift does cater to a, a vast majority of those needs. And especially when you start to consider the um, the free-to-play news, um, 
from the looks of things, although I, I, I'm by no means an expert on what's going to happen uh, when it comes free to play. It does look as though the, the game is going to be um, fairly open for all, really. It's not going to it's not going to be pay to win, but um, you know, it, it does look as though it's going to give people a lot of options for the for the way that they want to play, for the things that are better for them. Um, I mean, in future videos, I am I'm going to do a little bit of a, a a lowdown on what's happening with free to play. Um, as of right now, I've, I've, I need to to read a little bit more. Um, I'm not 100 percent perfect on what's happening. I just got an email yesterday or last night and uh, going to public test room. And, okay, uh, cool. I signed up for it. I got into it and I've been setting up my stuff in the public test room and doing that. And from what I see so far, um, it's going to be interesting. I'm going to reserve my opinion about free to play right now because I've, I really, well, to be quite honest, I'm really not sure what's going to happen. But unfortunately, most of the games that I've seen go free to play end up um, not playable because of adverts that start popping up and different kind of things. So hopefully that it doesn't take that route. Um, at the same token, I've seen games that you know continue to thrive on free to play as well. So let's hope that you know it, it's, it thrives because it is a decent game. Yeah, yeah, it definitely deserves uh, it definitely deserves uh, as much success as it can get. Really. Um. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, the, the scope of this game, no matter what you want to do, is uh, absolutely enormous. Um, if uh, questing is your thing, then there is absolutely no shortage of quests. Um, if you want to do other things, again, it's, you know, dungeons, uh, PvP, it's all there for you. Okay, so I've just picked up a, a new... Uh, a new shield there and that should be quite an improvement on what I have currently. So yeah we can see there that there's plus 288 armor plus 6 wisdom not very useful but will not complain plus 2 endurance so yeah let's go ahead and uh, oh I don't meet the uh, the requirements it's a cleric shield oh well never mind. You can farm here too if you've got farming needs or crafting needs with these bugs this is a good point where you could do a lot of farming yeah, so that's uh, some good advice from Demon there. Um, as we know, I've uh, I've already picked up three crafting skills rather than any gathering, so uh, won't be able to do anything right now. But uh, you know, if you do pick up those butchering skills, um, these uh, these flies that are just ahead of us are a very good source for that. 